Welcome to yet another Steve Dog home heating workshop. So, you've got a fancy pants radiator like I have. Let's flip that camera around and show you what this is all about. Boom, look at that. That radiator is taller than I am and I'm a big puppy. Right, anyway, we've got a fancy pants valve down here. How do we adjust that valve? Because it looks like nothing. What are you on about? Why do I have to adjust that valve? I've got that valve there. Simple. This is all about valve balancing. Yeah, and that doesn't mean I'm going to be balancing them like I would say a pencil on the end of my nose. No, it means I need to regulate the heat so that one of the radiators isn't getting all of it and some are cold. So what you need to do is you need to balance your valves. Now, what are, what are you on about, Steve Dog? You ask. You could just turn that one down a bit. No, that that's a thermostatic radiator valve, which will, when it gets the right heat, it'll cut out. But I want to slow the flow down so it, re it heats up slightly s slower. Yeah, you can say that, slower if you want, if you're Dutch. So that then heat will get into other places. So I need to slow, turn it down this end. What on earth is this? Well, undo it. Yeah, just undo it. What you're going to find is a, is a gubbins like that inside. Now you can use a Allen key, named after Allen key actually, um, or you can get one of these gubbins on here. And all I need to do is just tighten that one up. So now I just need to make sure that's on and just turn it like that. Do you see that? I didn't move it all then, did it? So I'm best getting an Allen key in there. Don't use these, it's pathetic using these. Get an Allen key in there. So let's get an Allen key in there. Let's go and get a key from Allen. There is an Allen key. So you drop that puppy in there. I just need to turn it a smidgen. See that? Just a smidgen. There. As simple as that. I've turned it about a quarter of a turn there. And what on earth will that mean? Let's turn that back, put that one back on. What on earth will that mean? What that will mean, folks, is that radiator now behind me will not get quite the same intensity of water flow into it and therefore gives up a little bit more. It denote, donates, donates some to other radiators around the house. What you need to do, folks, this is iterative. That means you do it again and again. So what you do, tighten up a little bit. This puppy's getting the heat so quick and so fast. Turn it down a smidgen. Then go and check the radiator that isn't getting quite as much next time. Please get a bit more next time. Great, you've done the job. If not, just turn that one again a little bit more. Keep adjusting the one that's getting too much heat down a tidden, tidden. So I take a tiddle and then a smidgen, a tidden, and then eventually, after doing this three or four times, you'll find the radiator that wasn't getting enough is now absolutely bang on. Give your radiators a chance to warm up enough and then tell me how you get on. So I'm now going to sign off by saying simply this. Enjoy tinkering with your radiators out there, folks. Stay warm. Post comments below. Catch you guys on the radiator schmadeator flip side. I couldn't have said it better myself.